Angola's President João Lourenço is toasting victory. On Monday, the Southern African country's Electoral Commission declared his ruling People's Movement for the Liberation of Angola the winner of last week's national vote. Victoria. The MPLA has triumphed in every election since the first multi-party vote in 1992. But this win, its fifth, has been tainted by concerns about possible fraud. We won the fifth election and whoever wins the fifth election has reason to open at least five bottles of champagne. The MPLA, in power since independence from Portugal in 1975, took 51.17% of the vote, according to the Electoral Commission. Its longtime opponent, UNITA, got 43.95%, its best ever result. But UNITA leader Adalberto Costa Jr. has rejected the results. He's cited discrepancies between the Commission's count and the main opposition coalition's own tally. Lorenzo said Angola has adequate institutions for UNITA to contest the results. They should do it because the law allows these situations. There are deadlines and we will wait. Local observers said the election was free. However, international observers from the South African development community, while saying the vote was calm and peaceful, noted an insufficient number of local observers. A European Union spokesperson said it was aware of complaints around some shortcomings in the electoral process. Some analysts think any dispute could ignite mass street protests among Angola's poor and frustrated youth. Costa Jr. has urged his supporters to remain calm.